Welcome to MathsMaster.org. In this lesson we're going to look at column subtraction of whole numbers. So here's two whole numbers. We're going to do 67 take away 34. That's 67 subtract 34. The main thing you have to remember is that you have to line up the units digits, line up the tens digits, line up the hundreds digits and so on. As long as you lay it out like that you'll be absolutely fine. So in this case, the 7 and the 4, the units digits in each number, are lined up vertically above each other, as you can see. And then the tens digits, the 6 and the 3, are lined up. OK, once you get to this point, you just do the subtraction that you see in each column. So we'll start on the right-hand side. 7 take away 4 is 3. And then the next column, 6 take away 3, is 3. So our answer is 33. Let's look at another example. Again, making sure that the units digits are lined up, the 7 and the 2. Making sure that the tens digits are lined up, the 6 and the 3. And then the hundreds digits go in the next column. OK, starting on the right-hand side, 7 take away 2 is 5, 6 take away 3 is 3, and 5 take away nothing is 5. So the answer is 535. Sometimes when you do column subtraction, you have to do what's called borrowing. And this is an example of a case where you do have to do borrowing. 95 take away 38. Again, lining up the units digits, the 5 and the 8, line up the tens digits, the 9 and the 3 is shown. Now, start on the right hand side. If you think about 5 take away 8, well, that would lead to an answer that was less than zero and we can't have that when we're doing column subtraction. We can't do 5 take away 8 because it would be a negative number wouldn't it? It would be a number less than zero. So what you have to do if you can't do the column subtraction that we've got here for example in 5 take away 8 you have to borrow 1 from the next column over. So in this case what you do is you cross out the 9 like this and take 1 off of that which makes that an 8, and the one that we're borrowing, we put there to turn that number into 15. Now you can do 15 take away 8, that's 7. So we put the 7 there. In the next column, we now do 8 take away 3, which is 5. So the answer to this one is 57. Let's have another look at a column subtraction when we've got to do some borrowing. In this case, 4 take away 5, we can't do. So we have to borrow 1 from the next column. So we cross out the 5, decrease that by 1, that goes down to 4. And the 1 that we borrowed, we put there to turn the top number into 14. Now, 14 take away 5 is 9. Now in the next column, 4 take away 6. Well, we can't do that would be a number below 0 again, so we can't do that. So this time we have to borrow again. What we do is we borrow from the next column. So the 2 in the next column we cross out, and that goes down to a 1. And the 1 that we borrowed, we put there to turn the second column, that, that number at the top of the second column, into a 14 now. 14 take away 6 is 8. 1 take away 1 on that column on the left is 0. So our answer is 89. OK, let's have a look at this one. 200 take away 167. 0 take away 7, we can't do in that first column. So we look to borrow from the next column over. 
but there's zero there. There isn't one to borrow from that next column. So what we have to do is we have to look at the next column over where we've got the two. We'll borrow one from there. So we cross out the two, that goes down to down by one, and that becomes one. The one we borrowed, we put here. Now, we still can't do that original zero take away seven subtraction that we wanted to do. So what we have to do now is cross out this 10, that becomes a 9, and the one that we borrowed from that column goes there to make this 10. 10 take away 7 we can now do, that's 3. Then 9 take away 6 in the next column is 3, and 1 take away 1 in the left hand column is 0. So our answer is 33. We'll look at one final example now, where again we have to do borrowing more than once. If we look in the right hand column here to start us off, 5 take away 7, we can't do. OK, so we look to borrow one from the next column, but there isn't one there to borrow. So we look over to the next column. Well, that's 0 as well, there isn't one to borrow from there. So we look over to the next column, to this 3. We'll borrow one from that. So we cross out the 3, that goes down to a 2, and the one we borrowed goes there. Right, we still can't do that 5 take away 7. And the next column, there still isn't one to borrow from. So what we have to do is look to the next column, that's a 10 now, cross that out, borrow one from there, so that becomes a 9, and then this column becomes a 10. OK. We still can't do our 5 take away 7, but now there is one to borrow from the next column. There's 10 there, so we'll borrow one from that. That becomes a 9, and the one we borrow goes there to make that 15. 15 take away 7 is 8. And then in the next column, 9 take away 6 is 3. And in the next column, 9 take away 4 is 5. And then finally in this left hand column, 2 take away 1 is 1. So we got to our answer 1,538. That was column subtraction of whole numbers. If you want to see more great maths videos, please visit mathsmaster.org.